Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Kyle, Jason, Leon, and Pierre here to give you the next episode and next iteration of our baseball draft. It's uh, Views Genuine Draft with a twist. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. This is gonna be a tough one. Yeah. Because basically, we're going. <laughs> what we're going through here is is the is uh, catcher, first base, second base, short, and third, and then two um, randoms. Right. So two uh, random picks. Um, this is going to be pretty tough. You guys ready to get started here or what? Yep. All right. So what's the, what's the draft order now, uh, Leon? The draft order. So we're reversing it from the outfield draft. So the draft order will be Pierre, followed by Kyle, then myself, then Jason. All right. This is going to be tough, man. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, so I get the first pick is actually a tough one in this one. Yeah, it first, is. Actually. First pick's always tough because you're yeah. you're you're afraid of making the wrong one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where do you go? Where do you go? Right. Um, oy, oy, oy. All right. I I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go first base. I'm gonna go um, Albert Pujols. Wow. I just think statistically, you can't argue with this guy. Solid. Yeah, how could you, right? I mean, over what? A little over 700 home runs. I mean, he might have been like 50 when he retired. The dude was a the dude was an (laughs) offensive machine, though. Uh, No, for his first 10 years in the his first 10 years in the majors are like probably arguably the best first start to a 10 year career ever. I, I, I can't tell you who I was uh, debating against because that would give away who I who I might want as a as a later on. But like mm-hmm. this dude is like, listen, I think people underestimate Pool Holtz's dominance. Yeah, you I think people much... forget also those those years where, I mean, if you've been around watching the game for a long time, you definitely obviously know about Pools. But I think those last ten years of his career, once he left the Cardinals, I think people kind of just forget because he kind of went into oblivion. Mm-hmm. Never yeah. making the playoffs with the Angels, so I think people just forget about that. Yeah, you, you could lock him in for thirty home runs, hundred RBIs for the first whatever ten years. Thirty? No, it was forty. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. To hit seven to hit seven hundred home runs like that, he had a decade where it was like 40, 40, yeah. 40, 40, yeah. 40. Like I mean, the dude was over. He was a machi- an absolute machine at the plate. Mm-hmm. Three MVPs. Yeah, good play. Whew, Pujols, incredible. One of the best, arguably, probably best right-handed bat of all time. But um, I would say he – I would say – Probably he, is, right? I'd say for me it's between like him and Manny Ramirez. Yeah. In terms of just pure hitting ability. Mm-hmm. Oh, Miggy's up there too. What, yeah. Hank Aaron? Hank Aaron, yeah, but Hank Aaron – Hank Aaron didn't hit for average like these guys do. Yeah. Manny, Manny and – um. Manny and uh Manny, Miggy, and Pujols were 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 I think better complete hitters. Yeah. That's not a bad first pick though. That's a great way to start. So with that, I know they always say you should always kind of build your team up the middle. And um I'm gonna go with a catcher. I'm gonna go with Yvonne Rodriguez. Mm. Okay. Nice. Is that the Puerto Rican in you? Yeah, uh, that was my favorite player growing up. I mean, I played catcher because of him, so I, I can't. Really, know. was it because of him, or was it more your stature? No, I, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, no, I wasn't. I mean, I just played the, my highest level of ball was college ball. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was, it was, I just, I, I loved his game, man. He was a phenomenal catcher, had a rifle for an arm. I mean. Definitely had a rifle. Honestly. The, dude was, the dude was absolutely amazing. Yeah. No it doubt. Just, it, you know what makes me remember his, that year, 03, when he was with the Marlins, how he was kind of the reason that team ended up winning that World Series, taking that young starting rotation and just guiding them throughout the year. So. He was, mean, also, he was also a linchpin in some in some r- prolific offenses. Yeah, those prolific. years with Texas. And I know there's been a tie to, you know, 
possible PDs, but hey, I mean, if you played in that era, there's a tie. To there's a there's a possibility, PDs. exactly. Yeah. So it is what it is. But that's my guy. That's my first pick. All right. All right. All right. So, as a baseball fan, I hated this guy. Um, but I drafted some pretty shady characters in my outfield. So what the hell? <laughs> I think this guy is above and beyond better than the other players in his position. I didn't expect him to be here at this position, so I'm going to take him. Alex Rodriguez, 696 home runs, three MVPs. A Rod just dominant, dominant shortstop. And I think he's just way better than the other shortstops that are available at that position. All right. Okay. Yep. I mean, it's hard to argue with his production at the plate. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even defensively, he was he was really good. No, no, def- no. He was he was well, especially uh, in his younger days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, well, no, he didn't have an opportunity to play short in his older days. He right. he, like, he was clearly the best shortstop in baseball when he came to the Yankees, mm-hmm. offensively, and he was he was not the best defensively, not the best in the league, but he was top five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Jeter was not, which was part of the controversy, I think, in terms of why Jeter stayed at short. But hey, it is what it is. Yo. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I suck at these drafts. <laughs> I freely admit it. Um, I like baseball, but, you know, I'm not a historian like, like you guys are. I don't dig deep into the stats. So I'm going with the feel goods. In, the, in my draft here. So for my first pick uh, at second base, oh, that, was my, do it. Uh, that was my position. Oh, uh, don't do it. And he was one of the ones reasons I, I, uh, I uh, played this position. Uh, I'm going to go with Jackie Robinson. Okay. I thought you were going to do something else, but okay. No, I appreciate the pick. He's just. <clears throat> I thought he was going somewhere else with that. That okay. You thought I was going Ryan Sandberg? Yeah. No, I knew he was going. I knew he was going Jackie. Rhino. Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh and uh might as well stick with it. Um probably the best player to never play in major league baseball. Oh. Um, taking a catcher off of the board, uh, I'm going with uh, Josh Gibson, Black Babe Ruth. Mm-hmm. Good pick. Yeah, I'm not a historian, but I'm going to take a, <laughs> a <really laughs> historian like that. Yeah. I applaud it. Good, good job. Good job. Damn, his OPS was over a thousand for his career. Ooh, baby, it's it's. Yeah. That one's a great pick. It's tough though, because like some people say he only hit 100 home runs. Some people say he hit 900. Home 900. Runs. Somewhere <laughs> yeah. in between is the truth, right? But great, right. Pick. great pick. All right. Um, uh, is my turn, right? No, no, no. It should be Pierce. Pierce. Okay. Right. All right. I'm going yeah. catcher. Yeah, yeah. I think catcher is where it starts to get less deep as we move along. I'm yes. going Donnie Bench. Johnny Bench, baby. Johnny Bench was Pudge before Pudge. Absolutely. Hard nose, part of that big red machine, a guy that that was considered the best defensive catcher of all time, hit for power, and was someone that um that obviously could handle a pitching staff. So I'm going Johnny Bench. He's pretty good. He was pretty good in the booth, too. Yeah, right. Oh man. Is it on? Is it on me now? Yeah. So I got Pudge at catcher, and I see you guys already got a strong start to your draft. Oh man, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with a shortstop. I'm going to go with – 
I'm going to go with Kyle Ripken, man. He definitely has a lot of games played there. Yeah. Well, he became the – um. he's what changed the shortstop position. Yeah. Um, uh, from uh, uh, a, a defensive-only position into one where you had pop in the bat, too. He he revolutionized – and he was yeah. also huge. He was a, I think he was, if I remember correctly, he was six foot five. Yeah, six five. Yep. And he was like Which two was, thirty, two thirty five, two forty. So that was unheard of at the. But you didn't see that. Actually. He was, he was like a foot. T- he was a foot taller than any other shortstop when he. Yeah. When he joined. Yeah, I mean, they were little guys before. Yeah, like a David before. Eckstein. Remember, yeah. that's how they were. Omar Vizquel, Ozzy Smith, yep. Omar Vizquel. Yeah. So Kyle mm-hmm. Ripken, man, all time. Record of games played, that's obviously never being broken, ever. Never. <laughs> Dude, over 2,000 consecutive games played. Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. Come on. That is crazy. Yeah. All right. Uh, my turn, right? Yep, you get yeah. two. All right. Um, I'm going to pick a player that many people younger than, you know, 30, 40 even, might not even know. Um, but we're talking about two-time MVP, one of the greatest power hitters of all time in the infield, uh, triple crown twice, batted over 400 three times, seven batting titles. I'm taking Rogers Hornsby for my second baseman. Hornsby. Probably played in an era where um, they didn't even have numbers on the back of their jerseys, but <laughs> uh, he put up the numbers, so welcome to the team, Rogers. Mm-hmm. All right. And then my f- my next pick. <sighs> Damn. Okay. Okay, okay. Damn. No. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. All right, all right, all right. Uh No, I'll wait for that one. All right. I'm going to I'm going to round up my first baseman. Um I'm going to uh, – fuck. All right, fine. Fuck it. Miguel Cabrera is coming to first base. First base is kind of deep, though, man. I know. Yeah. Maybe. I think there's a big – I think there's a – I don't know, man. I I, I went for Pujols right away because I think Pujols has got a large gap between him and who's next. Yeah. My, my rationale was I kind of want to see how third base kind of happens. And then all three of you guys have catchers, so I can win on my catcher. Well, now from a catcher perspective, like, good luck. Yeah, but I mean, it's too late for me anyway. <laughs> like, you guys took them, so it's like it, there's a run on catcher, so I'm going to use my later pick on a catcher. All right, all right. cool. Uh, I'm going to save my corners for last. Uh, so I'm going to finish out my middle infield. Um. He never he never got to play for a, a championship, but he was probably one of the best at his position for during his era for sure. Give me a shortstop. Give me a Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks, arguably better than um. Arguably, he's better than uh. Um. Cal Ripken. Yeah, no, definitely. Over 500 home runs. Mm-hmm. Great player. He wasn't as good. He wasn't as gifted with a glove. He won a gold glove award, but I don't know if he was like as good yeah. at short. Um. Is it on me now or no? I'm out. Uh, no, back to Pierre. Pierre. Back to Pierre. Okay, sorry. You always follow Pierre. Okay, got you. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go defensive at shortstop. This is the only place. This will be the one place where I have a hole offensively. But the guy is just too amazing at shortstop uh, to oh. to ignore. And it's gonna be Ozzy Smith. I thought you were gonna go there. I almost picked him. I'm going right. classic. I'm going classic at shortstop. I mean, yeah. I understand these power, but there is no one that could play um, that could play yeah. that position. The way Ozzy could, I want you to remember: thirteen Gold Gloves, fifteen-time All Star. Um, this guy was—he was the guy that people looked up to at the shortstop position. Almost the only 20. guy defensively that I think might have been better, maybe, was Omar Vizquel. 
Yeah. And that's and that's a yeah. that's a that's a big maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. Ozzy Smith was was the guy. Yeah, no. Ozzie but he had player. almost twenty five hundred hits. Twenty twenty eight of those were home runs. <laughs> 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 no, he was he was a contact he was a contact hitter. He was fast, yeah. but like anything from a range perspective, anything he was getting everything. Him, anything hit to him, he got exactly. He it was, was I he I got to see him play a few times live, and it was Ooh, just that must have been good to see. They didn't call uh, the just, wizard for nothing. It was magical. Yeah. Just absolutely the best defensive player I've ever seen play the game. Yeah. With my own Listen, eyes. Like I said, I think – like I've watched a ton of baseball in my life, right? I think the only guy that comes close is Vizquel. Yeah. Vizquel was a guy who went – I think he went like a season without an error or some shit like that at shortstop, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's guys that can barely get out of a week like that. Yeah, exactly. And he's doing it for the whole year. And he was out there playing every game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Whew. All right. All right, so – I got my catcher. I got my shortstop. I'm going to go with a second baseman here. And I'm going to take Joe Morgan. That's a good okay. one. Power hitter. Power hitter. Before, yeah. Before that was really known at that position. It still really isn't. Yeah, exactly. It's really not too many. I mean, Jeff Kent is probably the most noticeable Second baseman that hit for you know in recent years. Yeah. Mm. And then you get another one. Start us off in the fifth round. Started off in the fifth round. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take third baseman Mike Schmidt. All right. All right. No, many think he's the best third baseman ever. I just uh, he struck out a lot. He did. He only he batted with, with, under three hundred for his career. Uh, you know, ten gold gloves though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to hard to argue with that. Five hundred forty eight home runs. Nah, dude was a mach- dude was a was was a power machine. Yeah. One of the best mustaches in the game too. In the game, yeah. <laughs> the only guy better defensively at third. Is probably Brooks Robinson. Brooks, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you take a there's a huge drop in offensive production. Offensive production. Brooks Robinson. Mm-hmm. Uh, a question: Did you guys think about any of the players like that are playing today? Possibly, because I, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I wouldn't say all. I know it sounds crazy all the time, but nah. Let me not even say it because it's still too early in his career. Who? Machado. No, Listen, I, people laughed at me when I said Machado's the only guy active that I think can hit 500 home runs. People thought I was crazy. I, I know I it's probably crazy, and from my standpoint, because he's still playing, obviously. So that he's still so he's so young. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You got you got to get more time. Will he get there? Probably. But Maybe, right? that's yeah. barring any. Injuries How young or... is he though? Is he like 32 or 33? I think he's, he's only 30, 30 if I'm not 30. mistaken. He came 30? in really young to the league. I think he's only 30, if I'm not mistaken. He got through some tough moments where he started to get in his own head and become yeah. a little bit of a head case. But Machado, remember, you remember me saying this, Leon? I said Machado. I remember when you guy said it too. Yeah. Could hit 500 that's active right now. And yeah. people were like, oh, you're fucking crazy. Like, I, I really two, believe Machado. He's at 283. I, I, people were laughing at me when I said it. I said Machado's the only guy with a shot. But he wants to play another, I think, 11 years. Because there's a rumor that he wants to opt out and get a yeah. ten year contract for four hundred million. And the way he plays his game, like I can see him playing another ten years. I know he got early early in his career, he got hurt a couple of times, but it was like freak injury stepping on the base. I made a huge I made a huge mistake saying that once about Robinson Cano. So yeah, I'll never look, make that mistake again. And look what happened <laughs> to him. I thought Robinson Cano was a guy that was built to play longer, and he ended up being a complete trash, trash uh, pile of trash. Like it was that's crazy. Ste- what that steroid juice? Yep. <laughs> All right, where are we at now? I think it's uh, gone. we're in the fifth, second pick of the fifth round to Leon. Yes. Um. Kyle took Mike Schmidt. He might have had an overall better career, but I think this guy at third base had a one of the single best seasons for a third baseman. Um, unheralded, probably, but George Brett in 1980 hit 390. 
Uh, hit over 300 his whole career, 3,000 hits. I'm going George Brett for my third baseman. Damn it, because uh, he's one of the few players on this on this list that I've actually met. Oh yeah, uh, you complete asshole. Oh, wow. <laughs> but he he was drunk though, so okay. that might have something to do with it. Right. Suits my team, I guess. <laughs> Great player, though. Oh, absolutely. Whose turn is it now? It would be mine. I think I'm going to stay on. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to stay at third base too. Uh, I'm going to go a homer pick here for sure. Uh, I'm taking Chippa Jones. Chippa. I was debating between the two. I'm glad hey. you picked George. So Chipper's only to... downfall, honestly, was uh, was his um, his glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that boy, that boy could rake. Mm-hmm. Oh, he could. <sighs> I'm up now, yep. sir. I believe you get two. Yeah, to finish your draft. Oh no, wait, no. Oh, we end up, but we keep we, going. Yeah, this is the yeah, start we of the. Well, this is the last pick in the fourth. I this suppose you could go with the, go with uh, is- more reserves, but. This is you tough. To. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go third base. I'm gonna go uh, Eddie Matthews. Ooh, Eddie Matthews. Baby. Now listen, I debated here. I'm gonna tell you guys honestly. There's two other guys that I thought could contend here. It would be. Ooh, you don't want to say it because we're still picking. I'm still gonna say it. it's Wade Bob uh. <laughs> and uh, Adrian Beltre for me. I, I are the two guys that I okay. had to debate here. Beltre, yeah, he was. Really- Beltre is one of the most underrated stars this game's ever seen. Yeah. How much are you guys, if at all, factoring in defense? None, right? Uh, no, some some. I put Ozzie Smith, who yeah, Ozzie true. Smith is Johnny Bench. Where would you rank Brooks in that? Boggs, Beltre. Uh, He's better defensively than both of those guys. Yeah. Boggs, Boggs won a gold glove, believe it or not. Yeah. I believe he did. And Boggs. Two gold gloves. That Which is definition of contract. But he wasn't. I mean, Beltre could fucking throw like a 100-mile-an-hour fastball to first base. It was insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had a cannon of an arm. Orinando's like... Yeah. Ten gold gloves, five yeah. platinums. Yeah. Fucking oh, he's the best defender in the game right now. Do I have another pick now? I do, right? Yes. Yep, you do. I get one more. I got to find the... <sighs> Second base is tough, man. Could go... Uh... Take one away from uh, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. It was all Puerto Rican team. <laughs> team I, Puerto that, Rico. There's a there's a second baseman out there. The reason I wore my number in high school. It's tough because I really do love. Uh, I really do do love. Uh, uh, Roberto Alomar, but yeah, and I, I don't care if he was canceled or not. That's not why I'm not picking him. I'm going Rod Carew. You can't go wrong. I would have probably took Carew too, man. That dude was incredible as a hitter. Dude, listen, I mean, he's another one. He doesn't have a lot of home runs, but I've got a lot of pop in my lineup already. I've got Pujols, Bench, Eddie Matthews. Then you look at my outfield; it's just loaded with home runs. He didn't. He didn't need to hit no home runs. That man could get. 18 consecutive all-star games. Yep. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He was he, Listen, he, he was a guy that was like, you know, like Wade Boggs-ish in terms of at the plate, like Tony Gwynn, those kinds mm-hmm. of guys. Mm-hmm. Not going to hit a bunch of home runs, but boy, was he going to – he was going to – he was a pest. So Speed, I'm, baby. Yeah, I'm going uh, – I'm going uh, – I'm going Rod Carew. Oh, all right. So, to round out my – Infield, I'm going to take, obviously, it's my last pick, so first baseman. <sighs> I would take one of these older guys, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy, F- I mean, eh, cool, whatever. But I'm going to take uh, Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Damn, fuck you, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Not a good one, man. That's, 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 I a, was, that's a value pick. And I, I, was, I was hoping he'd fall to me. God damn. And, yeah, the big hurt, man. I remember watching him play in the 90s and <laughs> he 
he was, I mean, incredible. Incredible. Mm. And you would think of him as only a home run hitter because of how big he was. That dude could just hit, flat out hit. Yeah. He was a great defensive first baseman. Yeah. He was a he was, he was very he was a, he played tight end at uh at, at at Auburn. Auburn. Yeah. So he's he was like he's he's one of these guys, he's another one that was underrated in terms of in terms of his production. Like it was incredible. And then his big body wore out, you know? Yeah, but, exactly. He was you know, but yeah, the big hurt, yeah. Frank Thomas. Fuck it. I know who I'm picking now at first base. God damn right. you, fucking Kyle. I'm sorry, so, sir. I don't have a catcher. I'm going to finish off my catchers. Um, I'm going to go Yogi Berra. Yogi. Ugh. <laughs> Three oh, MVP. my God. That's Three what MVPs. happens when you pick, that's, what's ha- that's what happens when you pick the least deep position last. Uh, Yogi is a good catcher, though. He caught... 173 shutouts. It's a staple in that lineup. Yogi Berra. All right. Well. So well happens some of the, the run of catchers happens <laughs> in between your picks. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I need a first baseman, huh? Fucking A. I mean, I could, I could you know. I'm the same with Kyle. I could go old school, and there's probably better first baseman throughout history. But I remember watching this guy play a few times, and just what he did with a bat, or actually what he did to the ball with the bat. <laughs> um, Mark McGuire. Mark. Okay. Mark. Okay. Marky Mark. Some may argue he saved baseball. Oh, he absolutely him and slamming did. Sammy. Him and slamming Sammy. A fucking, a fucking syringe saved baseball. Yeah, it did. Yeah. But yeah. he he he, he, <laughs> he used the syringe better than anybody else. Nah, Sammy <laughs> Sosa arguably did it better. Yeah, well, true. But yeah. I remember had- in 90- I remember when they were interviewing him, and he had his Andrew Steen Dion just sitting right there in his locker. But that's not a steroid, though. I know, but like, oh yeah, I'm taking all sorts of drugs. I mean, like, it was, he never hit it, like, because it, it wasn't really. I mean, it was illegal, but it wasn't. But banned. It wasn't banned by baseball, so it was yeah. like it was an IQ test, not a drug test. Yeah. Right. All right. Well. Oh, I get another pick then, huh? So we're storing. So we're going back into the reserves here, huh? Well, yeah. Let's. Uh, you know, I probably should have taken this guy, but he's a good backup. I don't think anybody's taking him yet. Um, let's go, Luke Gehrig. Lou, the Iron Horse. All right. Who's up now? Uh, Pierre. Right. Why do we? This is the seventh round. Why do we have to yeah, keep no, asking no. that? <laughs> well, this is the sixth round, right? Oh, sixth yeah, round, sixth right. round, yeah. Yeah, That's guys, I'm, I'm sure. going. I'm going. Uh, I'm going at first base. I'm going to have a backup, Harmon Killebrew. Ooh. Harmon Killebrew uh, was an absolute monster at the plate. I don't know. Five hundred. Have you a guy that probably a lot of people haven't heard of that hit five hundred seventy three home runs? Yeah, he could play a little Minnesota, player, right? right? Yeah, he yeah. Minnesota, he Minnesota he, for a majority of this, his career, but he also, but they were the Washington Senators prior. That's to that, right. So. That's right. Yeah, I'm pretty Killer sure Bruce he. Was, no, he was oh, the first baseman. He played yeah. first, third, and left field. So he played all three positions. I'm pretty sure he put a ball through the roof of the Metrodome. <laughs> <laughs> No, this dude. If you guys look at pictures of him, and I'm sure Leon, you're gonna put the visuals together. Wait till you, the size of this guy. Oh yeah, he was yoked, fucking enormous. <laughs> yeah. Just an enormous no. of a man. I don't think he ever played in the, the Metrodome. I must be thinking of somebody else. Yeah. He played in the like, his 50s and 60s, I think. Right? Yeah. He yeah. led the AL in home runs six times, um, and only Babe Ruth has more than his eight 40 home run seasons. Think about that for a that's minute. Cr- yeah, that's crazy. A guy that a lot of people are going to be watching this video will be like, oh, who is he? Just like they probably didn't know who the uh, who um, 
who uh I'm sorry, the guy I picked in uh, uh yeah, um the um Mel Melat no no. No no no. Alfie, Larry Doby. Larry, Larry Doby. Like a lot of yeah, people yeah. don't know who Larry Doby is. I, I think Harmon Killebrew is gonna be another one that a lot of people that watch this don't know who he is, but they probably should. So go look him up before you start tearing apart the pick. Yeah, look at look at his numbers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got my five. I'm gonna go with a backup third baseman. I'm gonna take Adrian Beltre. God okay. damn you, mother <laughs> again. Oh good choice, man. Yeah, it's a good choice. So it should have been mine in the next round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um hmm. me taking A Rod almost stopped me from taking this guy. Um, arguably better. Uh although you he plays baseball. You better say Jeter. No. Uh, <laughs> because he played baseball um before like the TV was invented. But um Second highest batting average of all time, 3,400 hits, 700 stolen bases. Can play all over the field. The Flying Dutchman, Honus Wagner. All, people only know him because of his baseball card. That's oh, it, right? Stats, though. He's one of the best. Statistically, though, one of the best baseball players. I think he has the ever. highest war, like, ever or something, right? Yeah. He could play anywhere on the field. So, if we're getting utility players, he's going to – anyone gets injured, he's right in there. Well, yes, because back then, they only had like four players, so he had to play <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> right. like hey, you get one more pick. All right. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. All right, since my catcher position is so weak, I will pick a player that is a catcher, but probably defensively shouldn't be there. Uh, 300 batting average, 427 home runs, 12 time All Star, rookie of the year, 10 times silver slugger. Just say the pizza goddamn man, name, Mike Piazza. Pizza, pizza. He's a better DH. Yeah. He's a DH, pretty much. Right. Utility, second catcher. All right. Since uh, my second base pick was more sentimental than anything else, uh, I better pick a, a second baseman. This is where I will pick. Ryan Sandberg. Mm -hmm. one, uh, also one of the few players on this list I actually met. Was he was he a good guy? He no, he didn't sign my fucking autograph. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. What? All right. Of course, I was a seven year old kid uh, hanging you? out hanging out in a triple A ballpark. And, yeah, I never understood that, man. Like, come on. Sign it, though. I could understand, like, the you're not wanting to sign grown man autographs. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Little kids, come on, man. Come on, man. That's just bullshit. Dude, that yeah. pissed me off so much. Fucking, uh, who's that jack off that got traded from the Angels to the Phillies this year? Uh, long it's hair. In the guard. No, Jared Walsh. Yeah. He, we were sitting in Angels Stadium. We had, like, front row tickets right at the end of their dugout. And it's we get there two hours before the game, like right when the gates open. So, so my son, who, who was eleven at the time, could go sit and try and get an autograph. This motherfucker comes walking down the outfield line, looks right at my son for like the whole time he's walking down, and just walks right on by. Asshole. Yeah, a bad, he's a bad guy. Yeah, I'm like, dude. It's not like you're getting ramped up to win because you guys are going to get fucking smoked. You guys suck. Like, just sign the kid's autograph. He's, exactly. the, he's the only kid there. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. The worst experience I've ever had with a with a with a pro uh, sports player was Mike Vrabel. Yeah, Mike Vrabel. I was assembling like a bunch of autographs for the. Uh, Patriots because they had won all those Super Bowls, right? So there's this right. One, so Vince Wilfork was amazing. A lot of these people are amazing. And then um I was in line waiting for the autograph for Vrabel uh, to put on this helmet that I have a bunch of autographs on. And there was a handicapped kid in front of me with his dad. And the handicapped kid asked him where to sign it. He said, I'll sign it wherever the fuck I want. Yeah, that's for to a handicapped kid? To a handicapped kid. He shoved that ball right up his fucking ass. No, I walked out. I didn't get his autograph. I walked yeah. out. I'm like, fuck this shit. I already paid. I'm like, I'm out of here, man. Whatever. This That's guy was the biggest dick I've ever met in my life. But all right. So moving along here. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I sidetracked us a bit. My my last pick 
is who I think is probably um, a very underrated shortstop. It's still probably top 10 in the position, but I just like the mix of defense and offense with him, and it's Barry Larkin. All right. Probably should have been one of our starting shortstops, but great player. All right. Mr. Red. I'm going to make this last pick for you, Kyle. Oh, do you do it? Because you already know where it's going. <laughs> yep. I already know where it's going. Probably one of the best uh, defensive second basemen of all time. Okay. And and a Puerto Rican sensation. Uh, we're going Carlos Bayerga. <laughs> Former Cleveland Indian? Yeah. Isn't that no, what you're not going? really. I think I'm going to pass on Carlos Bayerga. I think I'm going really to pass, him. Him. pass on him. I love oh. that he's a Puerto Rican. He comes from the motherland, but I can't. Bayerga, Bayerga, for a little bit, right? When he, he was really good, though. Early I in his point. career, when he was with Albert Bell, I thought he was going to be a Hall of Fame second yeah, base. I thought, was. I thought so too. That's why I wore the number twenty-eight in high school. He was, he was really good with Cleveland. Switch hitter. Oh uh, yeah. There were a lot lineup. of guys like that that started off like really amazing. Like if you remember Marquise Grissom and Grissom, the Lionel yeah, the Shields, like those yep. are guys that started off their careers really well. Jermaine Dye was another one, right? Yeah. A lot of guys that have Jermaine Dye. His wife yelled at me. Now we'll get. <laughs> that's another story. We're sidetracked there, but anyway. All right. So where are we at? Who's who's pick right now? We're wrapping up right now, right? Uh, yeah, last, wrap, last pick, Mister. I'm gonna wrap it up right now, and I'm gonna take the captain, <laughs> Derek Cheetah. How could I? How could I leave him off the list? There's no way I could leave the. You should have left him off. All right. So let's you recap. Taken Carlos Bayerga. <laughs> who had who had last pick of the draft? I did. Me. So, uh, Jason, why don't you start by recapping oh. the draft? Last oh, yeah. overall pick or the last pick? No, of no, the you no your, your picks, your picks. Go yeah, okay. Your picks. Uh, uh, so, at starting second baseman, I have Jackie Robinson. Starting catcher, I have Josh Gibson. Uh, finish up the middle at shortstop, Ernie Banks. Uh, Chipper Jones is, is taking my third base, uh, anchor. Mark McGuire is going to be raking from first base. And then my two utility players, um, Lou Gehrig and Rhino, Ryan Sandberg. The only pick I don't agree with in any way, shape or form is, uh, Mark McGuire. I love Mark McGuire, man. His <laughs> arms were bigger than his bat. Like he, he, he looks so hitter. ridiculous swinging that baseball <laughs> bat. That so listen, he looked like a cartoon. Like, <laughs> once it once once it turned to like nineteen ninety one or whatever, like that dude, he can't hit for shit. Like that is the worst hitter in baseball. Uh, Mark, Mag what? Mark McGuire was a terrible fucking hitter. Yeah, but man. He had he three, you're right. He three years of peak performance. Three he years. Could of <laughs> he could mash it when he got a hold of it, right? Like I remember yeah. one year, I think it was, I think it was eighty-seven or eighty-eight. I think it was eighty-seven. He had thirty-nine home runs at the All Star break. Yeah, <laughs> and he ended up hitting forty-nine that year. I don't remember what year that was. It was like eighty-seven or eighty-eight, some shit yeah. like that, somewhere around there. But like his average, like it, some of his average batting averages, averages were like two twenty, two eighteen, two oh four. It was like crazy. And you don't need to, you don't need to hit the ball very often when you hit it that far. Well, even his on base percentage was pretty fucking weak. It was weird, yeah. but I get it. He could hit the fucking home run. He could. Dude, he was just so fun to watch, especially during those those it's Royal a weird era. era. Yeah, baseball. when the Bash brothers were really raking, when it was him and Conseco, it was pretty. It was pretty fun to watch. All right, so Kyle, why don't you take us through yours? So I'll start out at catcher. My first pick was uh, Ivan Rodriguez, Pudge. Uh, my second pick up the middle, shortstop Kyle Ripken. Uh, my second baseman is Joe Morgan. Uh, my third baseman was Mike Schmidt. My first baseman was uh, Frank Thomas, Big Hurt. And my two backup players, I had Adrian Beltre and El Capitan, Derek Jeter. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. November. That's right, baby. Oh, Capitan. Get the fuck out of here. Capitan. <laughs> I, right, guess, I guess he's not, he's not the captain no more now because Judge Judge has taken the mantle, but you, yeah. you know mm. what I mean. Mm. All right. All right. 10-time. Uh, I'm not going to do this for every player, but Yogi Bear, 10-time World Series champion. Uh, first baseman, Miguel Cabrera from Venezuela. 
Second baseman, Rogers Hornsby, probably one of the greatest uh, infield masters of all time. Shortstop, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez. Third base, George Brett. Utility player, Honus Wagner. And other utility spot, uh, Mike Piazza. Italian legend. All right. My lineup. Um, let's go around the horn here. Uh, first baseman, Albert Pujols. Second baseman, Rod Carew. Shortstop, Ozzy Smith. Third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Behind the plate, Johnny Bench. And then my two, uh, my two, ben- my two utility players, Harmon Killebrew and Barry Larkin. Hmm. And it'll be interesting to see our teams as they're all assembled at the end. Who was your second no, baseman again, Pierre? Sorry, Rod, Rod, Carew. Rod Carew. Rod Carew, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like Listen, right man, here. this was fun, though, right? This is fun, man. This is a little more difficult. I think, Leon, your misstep was definitely waiting on catcher. Yeah. I ended up with two, though. Yeah. So what? Two for the price of one. Two for the price of one. Barra, people think Yogi Berra is one of the best. He was underrated. He was underrated for being 5'5", five, five, right? Five, but you got to understand. But listen, the lineups he was on, right? Like, yeah, he was like four. He first. got he got pitches to hit. I mean, so yeah. you got to remember too. Like, there's other context sometimes that's important with these players. Like a guy like I don't know, like a guy like Yogi Berra. Like you had to pitch to him. Like, are you gonna like pitch to him, or are you gonna like are you gonna pitch yeah. around Yogi Berra to get to like? <laughs> Some of the most murderous lineups yeah, in the like, baseball. Like Mickey Mantle, somebody. <laughs> well, that was their nickname, right? Murderers Row. Yeah, but like uh, in the twenties, in the nineteen twenties, it was Yogi yeah. Berra didn't play then. He played in the fifties. Yeah. yeah, but still, the lineups were still no, murdered, no. The lineups were still yeah, they were still stacked. They were still fucking stacked, man. It wasn't nineteen twenty seven. Nineteen twenty seven is the most appre- uh, impressive mm. offensive team in Yankees history. I, yeah, I would imagine. Unless it's changed, unless one of these more recent teams. No, no, it's it's the twenty seven Yanks. The twenty seven Yankees scored runs at, at such an amazing clip, but you know, I think uh, I think someone like Yogi Bear was definitely like he benefited from being in a stacked lineup where you had to pitch to him. Unlike yeah. uh, unlike you know Ernie Banks who had nobody on his. No, lineup. you're right. You're a hundred percent right. There is yeah. a lot of these Barry Larkin too. Like who is protecting Barry Larkin in a lineup? Yeah. Like his. It's different. It, there's so much context. That's why. That's why I really do enjoy the game of baseball and the statistically yeah. and the context behind it because there's so many stories within stories that tell that 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 tell the full the the total picture. You know, yeah. like it's it's different. It's different. Um, but yeah, this was fun, guys. I really appreciate you guys doing your homework and being ready for this. That this was a fantastic draft, and now we're off to the starting rotation next, um, which will be. Which will be pretty deep as well. I mean, yeah, that, that, that one. The, I was looking over some starting pitching today. Jesus, there's so many, so many, so many. But with that, guys, I want to thank I want to thank all of you. Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments uh, who you think uh, assembled the best infield. Um, let us know. Yeah, and make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. Use from vault.com. Get your official merch from us for. Um, Jason, Leon, Pierre, and Kyle. We're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace. Brought to you by VFTV.